that's what was going through my mind is that how does how does the world not realize how bad this is so every single phone call that we received was to cancel a reservation and everyone was requesting refunds i fly at night and the plane is is dark and without anybody on it there's more crew members than there are passengers and it was scary you're thinking what's going to happen in the future with southwest airlines i recall one day going into los angeles international which is normally very very busy and it was really quiet and calm we landed and the tower controller said just taxi to the gate stay with me which caught us kind of by surprise because that just doesn't happen and so we asked him, well, are we the only ones moving? He said, you're the only airplane moving in 20 miles. You know, I'm looking around the office and wondering, am I safe in the environment that I'm working in? It, it felt like every single decision was a morally hazardous decision. How do you have no customers and no planes flying yet keep people employed? We've always been so used to saving $5 a day that's been the Southwest, at least in ground ops, big. How are you going to save your $5 a day? And it switched to, okay, how are we going to save $500,000 a day? We realized that it was a heck of a lot more fun when you didn't have enough airplanes than it was when you had uh, too many airplanes. And we went from thinking about all these cool things to, oh my gosh, we got to do something because this is hitting us so, so hard. We got to get into survival mode. After having it twice, um, your body just feels weathered. It feels like it's been through the storm. I, I knew that they, I was needed more as a, as a nurse than as a flight attendant. And at that point, that's when I made the decision to give away all my trips and dedicate myself full time um, as a nurse. At one point, we knew who would be furloughed. And we would all talk and we would say, like, well, what are you going to do? Well, what are you going to do? So we kind of came up with plans and things that we could do for, you know, when the time came. I'm just so proud that we just, quite frankly, fought like hell, fought like hell to preserve jobs and um, and to, to preserve what is so wonderful um, about uh, this company, which is the care that we have uh, in each and every employee. Think about it, we were all given a time out, whether you wanted it or not, like, uh, stop. But that quarantine and that time out caused, I think, one of the greatest awakenings in our lifetime that we will probably see. Those that are smart enough are paying attention, seeing that we are expanding our network footprint. That means world domination is not too far away for us. We are blessed to work at Southwest Airlines because we will always have hope. To have hope and to continue to trust in your yourself, trust in God, and trust in the people that lead you at your job, because things will get better.